In the ever-shifting landscapes of our lives, balance often emerges as a celebrated goal. The ebb and flow, the rise and fall, the dark and light, all facets of nature teach us about harmony. Yet when we translate this concept to our spiritual lives, a stark caution emerges. Revelation 3.16 paints a potent picture. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. Here lies not just a warning, but a beckoning towards unwavering commitment to the Almighty. But first, let's dissect. What does it truly mean to be lukewarm in our faith? Picture a vessel of water, neither hot nor cold. Such a state reflects compromise, where one's spiritual fervor becomes overshadowed, muddled by the myriad distractions of worldly life. To be on fire for God signifies a bright, blazing passion, an unyielding and fervent commitment. On the opposite end, coldness reflects an indifference, a detachment. But lukewarm? It's the gray area where spiritual integrity meets worldly desires. Through the vast canvas of biblical narratives, there's wisdom cautioning against the perils of trying to serve two masters. It's a dance of temptation, each step promising the allure of molding our faith to comfortably fit our desires. From Adam and Eve's enticement in Eden to King Solomon's heart straying from divine commitment, Scripture underscores the dangers of such compromise. Yet intertwined with these tales of caution are radiant stories of hope, guidance, and unwavering commitment. Consider Moses, faced with adversity, he stood strong, leading a nation to their promised land. Reflect upon Daniel, whose devotion was so deep that even the threat of a lion's den couldn't sway his connection with God. These luminaries remind us of faith's transformative power. Today, every sunrise brings choices influencing our spiritual temperature. Choices in career paths, life values, relationships, friendships, all can pull us closer into God's embrace or push us into the shadowy realm of lukewarmness. However, faith's beauty lies in its boundless capacity for renewal. Like a candle's flame that can light up an entire room, our relationship with God demands a certain self-sacrifice, a diligent act of eliminating worldly temptations to uphold His sanctity. Matthew 6.24 drives home a profound truth. No one can serve two masters. Here, Christ's words are a clarion call to decisive action. It's a plea to ensure our heart's dedication to God remains unflinchingly fervent. As we introspect and traverse our spiritual pathways, we're constantly reminded of the significance of zeal in our faith, embodying God's boundless grace and eternal truth. In wrapping up this expansive reflection, remember the potency of daily introspection and tangible action. We're called to actively embrace the searing fire of faith and vehemently reject the pull of lukewarm complacency. We humbly request you to engage with us further. Share your own stories, challenges, and insights in the comments below. If this discourse resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and become a cherished part of our growing community. Until our paths cross again, let's make a collective promise. To let our faith's flame shine ever brightly. Let us be beacons for others, guiding them towards His eternal light. Stay ignited in His love and grace. And as always, God bless you abundantly.